Decentralized apps or dApps make it possible for people to interact with personal finance without third party involvement. So yeah, they're pretty important if you're into crypto. But if you're new to cryptocurrency in the blockchain world and are looking to gain an in-depth understanding of dApps, then this guide is for you. Let's dive in. You might be wondering, what the heck is a dApp? And why is the A capitalized in the word dApp anyway? Well, dApp is actually a short acronym for Decentralized Application. A dApp is basically a digital application or program that runs on a decentralized computing system like a blockchain or P2P network. In other words, it's an open source software ecosystem that anybody can look at and have access to, and it's also characterized by innovation, security, and resilience. Well, for the most part, and I'll get to that later. Now, dApps combine smart contract backend with the front end user interface. For example, if you've ever used Uniswap before, and if you haven't, we have a video for that, which I will also link to in the description, so please check that out. But if you go to Uniswap, you can see that they have a nice clean user interface where you can select your tokens from Ethereum, 1inch, and any other token on the list. And this is basically the user interface for Uniswap. Now, this is the front end, and behind the front end is all of this stuff. <laughs> you can take a look at their code on GitHub. Now, GitHub has all of their smart contracts and code that you're actually interacting with on the back end, and the front end and back end basically make up the complete yin and yang, which is the dApp. Now, you might also be wondering what is the difference between a normal app, like on your smartphone or on the computer, there are apps as well, and a dApp, which is a decentralized app. Well, basically in regular apps, the user interface interacts with a traditional program, whereas in a dApp, it communicates specifically with smart contracts. Also, the backend of regular apps is usually hosted on a single computer or it can be hosted on centralized servers. Now, if you remember back in early November when Facebook and Instagram were actually blacked out, then you can see where this can be kind of a problem. If an app is hosted on a centralized server, and that server goes down, well, you're kind of kaput. You have no other options but to wait for the centralized servers and the team behind it to actually get the servers running again. On the contrary, dApps are hosted on multiple systems, even worldwide, via an open source peer-to-peer -peer network. This means that even if the website goes down, you can still interact with the smart contract itself. For example, I'm over here at rugdoc.io and then I'm taking a look at some of these yield farms. So if I decide to use this pixel phantom farm, which we did label as high risk, and somehow the website goes down, well, you can just go to click on the master chef, find their master chef contract, and actually just write on the contract. And then you can connect your own wallet and use the smart contract functionalities on the phantom scan network here instead of actually interacting with their website in case it was actually down another differentiating factor is the security now dApps when they are done correctly and have very strong audits in place can be even more secure than regular apps for example regular apps might be hosted on a centralized processing unit and they could be at risk for cyber attacks you might have heard many different companies being attacked cybersecurity wise and then having information stolen like your email address or address. Well, in decentralized applications, usually they go through very stringent audits. Well, at least the big players like Uniswap or Aave, which are dApps that have a lot of audits and security behind them. You might also be wondering, well, how do I find a dApp? Well, besides going to our website at rugdoc.io, you can actually go to another website like dapradar.com. Pretty convenient name right there. You can actually see that they have a list of dApps. You can also rank them by uh, blockchain. So if you're looking for dApps specifically on the Ethereum blockchain, you would just click on Ethereum to find the top Ethereum dApps. And you can find dApps like Uniswap, OpenSea, Metamask, Sushi, all the common ones, and then even more uncommon ones if you scroll down. 
Um, and then even going to the 115th page, you can definitely find some more as well. As you can see, there are a lot of different dApps on different blockchains. You have the EOS blockchain, Tron, Avalanche, Tezos, etc. All these different blockchains you can find dApps on. Basically, any blockchain that you can build a dApp on will have developers building dApps. So you can find different dApps depending on what you're looking for. Now, we've talked about how dApps are so cool and everything, but there are actually some considerations to go over before you put in all your money into the next step that you find. Now dApps are amazing because they are completely transparent unlike some other companies that you might know in the traditional finance space especially. So everything is recorded on the public ledger and no data or transaction can be erased once it has been generated. That's a really great sign with dApps. However, some high risk dApps do exist and they bear kind of a resemblance to some Ponzi schemes. You might know the traditional pump and dump coins like other Shiba Inu knockoffs or Dogecoin knockoffs. Of course, there comes a risk, so definitely ape with your own due diligence. Besides this other Ponzi scheme risk, there are security issues that we can mention here. Sometimes dApps might not actually be audited correctly, or if they are audited, the company that they use might not actually find an exploit. So you can definitely find a lot of past history with decentralized applications getting exploited in some ways. And if that happens, well, your funds may be subjected to loss. Now, I did make a video on how to stay safe in crypto because there are a lot of red flags that you might want to be aware of before actually diving into them or falling for a scam. However, with that specifically, make sure you identify these following signs to help you identify if there is actually a risk. Number one, if you find a DAP that offers a big return with minimal risk, well, you know, that big return might not actually work out in the end. Those of you in the DeFi space who had the opportunity to invest in Iron Finance might be familiar with something of a security exploit here like in this chart. If you did remember when Iron Stablecoin was about a dollar and then it crashed along with the price of the Titan token because there was an exploit in the system. So big returns might usually come with higher risk. Also, there might be coins or dApps that promise a consistent stream of return regardless of the market conditions. Well, that might not always be true forever. Like if you get $5,000 per month, that might be a little bit fishy. Also, there are dApps that might make false claims of working with partners or wallets or exchanges that they actually haven't partnered for. Now, it's up to you to verify this yourself. There are also dApps that claim to be fully decentralized and transparent when they're actually ran by a centralized team. So keep an eye out for that. Now, the future of dApps looks absolutely bright. The number of dApps is growing rapidly and the market size is likely to reach 368.25 billion by 2027. Now, according to Emergent Research, the dApps market size was just a measly 10.52 billion in 2019. So that's over a 300x increase by 2027 from 2019 standards. So whether the industry you're looking at is banking, real estate, energy, gambling, the internet of things, social media, gaming, identity verification, or elections and voting, you can be certain that dApps will play a big role in the upcoming future. Now, if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to join our awesome Telegram group where we have quizzes, we have a lot of articles and upcoming content and comics and everything DeFi. So stay tuned for future upcoming content. As always, guys, stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.